in the previous lecture, we have the rights and quality in this form. Sigma equals Q bar times epsilon. And Q bar is transformed to use stiffness methods. However, it's possible to derive the inverse matrix and the inverse relation in the global corner system is going to be written as epsilon equals s bar times sigma. S bar is called transformed compliance matrix. Therefore, S bar should be equal to, how can you write S bar? What is it equal to? It's the inverse of Q bar. But we can directly find the elements of S bar without evaluating the inverse of Q bar. It's possible. And we will derive the elements of S bar matrix. Now, our starting point is this equation. We have shown this or derived this. Epsilon global is RT, R inverse times epsilon local is RT, R inverse times epsilon global. First, write this matrix equation epsilon local, epsilon one, epsilon two, gamma one, two is. R T R inverse times epsilon global, which contains epsilon x, epsilon y, and gamma x1. This is transformation formula for strains. And it involves the right side matrix R as well as the transformation matrix. I will first invert in this, find the inverse relation, which means that you need to determine the inverse of this product. RT, R inverse. What is the inverse of uh, this product? That's the question. And you can get some help from uh, linear algebra. We know that. Inverse of AB, this product, is written at B inverse times A inverse. This is not from linear algebra. Now I'm going to find inverse of this product, it is R T R inverse inverse. If we find the inverse of this, suppose that this is A, this is B, and you can write it as B inverse, which is R, times A inverse, which is inverse of RT, which is T inverse, times R inverse. That's the inverse of this matrix. And I can write the inverse relation then. 
and then we have epsilon x, epsilon y, lambda x y equals r t inverse of inverse times local matrix epsilon one epsilon two gamma one two there's no uh, I had to write in this quantity in terms of global stress this this quantity has to be written in terms of global stress, and we can do that. First of all, know that local strain, epsilon one, epsilon two, gamma one, two, is in the principal corner system. This local strain is S times sigma one, sigma two, tau one, two. And local stresses can be written in terms of global stresses. This in turn is equal to S times. How do I write this? Local stress vectors sigma one, sigma two, sigma one, two. What is it equal to? How can you write it? Constant transformation, it's equal to change the color transformation matrix. Times sigma x, sigma y, tau x y. But substitute this local strain into the original equation, and you'll find the final result. Substituting. We find global strains, epsilon x, epsilon y, now my xy here. Global strain equals r t inverse, r inverse. Times this results S T times global stress sigma X sigma Y tau X Y. This is written uh, in this matrix, or this product altogether. This is referred to as S bar matrix. And therefore, I will rewrite the final forms. Now uh, it's called transformed compliance matrix as far as transform compliance matrix 
And the final result in the global system is epsilon global, epsilon x, epsilon y, gamma x bar equals s bar times sigma global, sigma x, sigma y tau x bar. S bar. And S bar is again a fully populated matrix. in the global coordinate system. And the elements are this one, one bar, one, two bar. The third one is again shown as S16 bar, one, two bar, two, 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 three, two, six, uh, symmetric metric, one, six, two, six, and six, six. So that's why the elements can be obtained uh, in close form by using a symbolic manipulator. I have shown this for the Q bar matrix. Again, you can define all these matrices in Maple or MATLAB, carry out matrix modifications, and you'll be able to find the entries. All entries of a SPARF matrix, I'm going to write some representative entries here, for example, small one bar. This is sum one c to the four plus two two s to the four plus two s one two plus c c squared s squared. You can find all these entries. There are six of them. Six six bar is two times two s one one plus two plus two two minus four s one two minus s six. S squared, C squared, plus X, S to the four, plus C to the four. You can find these at, and they are also available in the book. You can uh, read that it's part. Like attendance yeah. at 43. Sorry. Do you have a question or? Yeah. Okay, you can find uh, the elements in the book. They are available in the book, or you can use a symbolic manipulator such as MATLAB or Maple. And one final remark regarding this result: here, epsilon x is global. Vector, global strain vector is equal to S bar times global stress. And we observe that normal strain, for example, is coupled with shear stress to this term. And there is coupling between normal strain and shear stress, normal strain epsilon x, and the shear stress. 
you don't have such couplings in isotropic materials or in the principal coordinate system or orthotropy. We don't have such couplings, but in addition to this, you can think about shear strain. Shear strain is coupled with normal stress in X direction and normal stress in Y direction to these terms. It's from six bar, that's two, six bar, and for all these terms are coupled. Normal strains are coupled with shear stress and engineering shear strain is coupled with normal stresses. Any questions regarding these results? I'm going to end the recording if you don't have any questions.